Hello, it's Dave Taylor from Cyberhost Pro with another top tip on how to do more business online. And this morning, I want to talk about capturing the contact details of people visiting your website. This is really important. One of the most important things is that when people go to your business website, you give them the opportunity to subscribe or opt in uh, to something that enables you to communicate with them after they've left your site. And the easiest way I've found to do this is using a free program called MailChimp. And you can sign up for an account at MailChimp free of charge. And uh, it is free up to 12,000 emails sent a month and 2,000 subscribers. So it's a great deal that they're offering for uh, small businesses. Uh, okay, so you sign up to MailChimp, um, which is an email marketing uh, software, and then you create some lists. And lists are groups of people uh, who you are going to target for um, email marketing. So just create a list with some uh, emails in it, as I've done here. And then on the left here, you'll see under Create List another tab called Design Sign Up Forms, and this is what we're looking at. And when you hover over that, it'll ask you which mailing list you want to design a sign-up form for. And I'm just going to pick this first one. And it's going to take me through to design a sign-up form that's going to sit on my website and capture people's contact details. Now, normally, you would offer those people some reward for signing up to, uh, for this kind of form. It might be to enter a competition, it might be to receive a free expert guide or some other freebie or incentive. And that's what gets people to opt into these forms. So here you can see that uh, MailChimp has provided you with a, a standard, a default type of opt-in form. And on the right here, you can see all sorts of other options you can play around with to add to that form. But I'm just going to leave it in its most basic form, uh, which is asking people to submit their email address here, their first name here, and their last name here. That's about as basic as it gets. And if you're happy with that basic form, then across the top here, you can see this tab option for share it. And this is what you need to click on next. And it gives you a number of options of sharing this form. And what we want to do is to put this form onto our website so that we can capture potential leads contact information. And uh, the way to do this is now to go over here to the right hand side and click on this tab, create HTML code for a small subscribe form. I click on there and it takes me to a third page. And Right here, you can see a preview of what that sign up box is going to look like on your website. And then underneath here, you have actually got the code that is going to be dropped into your web page. So we highlight the code, right click and copy. And then we go across to uh, your web page editing software. This is a very basic one. And as you can see in this section here, all I've done is I've copied and pasted that code from MailChimp into one of my web pages. And then when I preview the web page in the browser, this is what it's looked like. And this is what it will look like on your web page. So above here, you need to put what the incentive is to get people to put their email address in this box and, and press subscribe. And as I say, it could be a competition, it could be a free giveaway. Um, it could be a, a, an ex, a, a piece of expert advice. And you drop this into your home page on your website and you'll start to get people subscribing into your list. And those names and email addresses will pop up on your MailChimp account right here. And you will start to build a list of new contacts and prospects. So that is a way that you can use uh, a capture form on your website to start getting hold of people's contact details who are visiting your web page. Hope that's of use to you uh, and that you get more business as a result. We'll be back very soon with another top tip from Cyberhost Pro. Bye for now.